Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make a delicious white cheddar mac and cheese. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. We're going to begin by bringing to a boil our water. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to add salt and just follow the instructions on the package. So make sure that you cook your pasta al dente. Make sure that you move it constantly to prevent it from sticking to each other. Once our pasta is done, we're going to reserve one cup of the water. Now carefully drain the pasta and set it to the side. Okay, so now we're going to get our cheese ready. I'm going to be using one cup of Parmesan cheese, eight ounces of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Make sure that you grate your own cheese so like that your sauce is not powdery. Along with that, we're going to shred eight ounces of Monterey Jack cheese, or you can use whatever your favorite white melting cheese is. Just make sure that you grate it. And once we have that, now we are ready to put our sauce together. Returning to our pot over medium heat, we're going to add four tablespoons of butter. Once the butter melts, we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Just make sure that you whisk it together. Along with that, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of ground mustard, one teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of chili powder. Once everything is well mixed, we're going to add two cups of milk and two cups of heavy cream and the one cup of pasta water. So make sure that you whisk for about seven minutes or until the sauce begins to thicken up. And once it thickens up, now we are ready to add all of the cheese that we grated. So just make sure that you add it slowly and mix it. So like that, it don't get clumpy. And once the cheese melts, we are ready to add our pasta in. And at this point, you can reduce the heat to the lowest setting until everything is well mixed. Okay, so once mixed, taste it for salt, adjust it if needed. And at this point, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, in our bowl, we're going to mix 3 quarters of a cup of breadcrumbs, 12 ounces of bacon bites, and 4 tablespoons of melted butter. This is going to be our topping, so make sure that you mix it well. And once everything's mixed, we're going to transfer our mac and cheese into a baking dish. I'm going to add more shredded cheese and top it with our bacon breadcrumb topping. And now we're going to bake for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, we can now get ready for the fun part. And just look at that. Get ready to serve and enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I am so ready. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's honestly super delicious and super easy to make. It's so creamy, so cheesy, so it's honestly the best. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. We love mac and cheese and this is absolutely our favorite. The bacon, the breadcrumbs is honestly perfect combination. Mm-hmm. So cheesy. So flavorful. So good. Mm. Promise you that all your family and friends are going to love it. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make a delicious white cheddar mac and cheese. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you ever this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys keep part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.